Hello everybody and welcome! In today's video I'm going to show you how to install Stable Diffusion XL on your local machine. This means that your computer is going to be doing all of the generating of these AI images, so this won't cost you anything, it's entirely free. This also means that you could do things such as generate uncensored imagery, and that is the beauty of open source and the reason that Stable Diffusion is so popular. Everyone has different levels of technical know-how, so I'm going to do a lot of explaining in this video so that even the most unexperienced users will be able to install this. If you have difficulties installing at any point in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below, or even join my Discord server, which is linked down in the description below, and ask the community for help in the AI help section. That being said, if you're a more advanced user, feel free to skip around the video and ignore a lot of my deeper explanations. This tutorial will be for Windows devices, so if you have a Mac, that would have to be a separate tutorial and is something I'm not exactly familiar with. Let's get started. So viewers, here I am on my Windows desktop. The first thing that we want to do is figure out if we can even run Stable Diffusion XL on our own machine at home. There are some prerequisites required. The way that we're going to check if our computer can run Stable Diffusion XL is we're going to hold down the Windows key and then press X while still holding down the Windows key. A menu is going to appear on the left hand side of our screen and we're going to click on Task Manager. It's going to bring this Windows application up and at the top here we're going to see a bunch of different tabs that you can click on such as Processes, Performance, App History. We're going to click on Performance. Now once we're on the Performance tab we're going to want to go all the way down to the GPU section. Now, if you don't see a GPU down here on this performance section, this might mean that you do not have a GPU, which means you cannot run Stable Diffusion XL. Now, there actually is an exception to this. If you have a powerful enough CPU with enough RAM, you can generate it with just your CPU, but it could take a very long time, up to 30 minutes for one generation. So it's not exactly a very realistic scenario. If you don't have a GPU and are still interested in running this, follow along with a tutorial and I will mention the way in which you can try to run it with your CPU. Anyways, if you do see a GPU down here, go ahead and click on it. Now, when we click on GPU, we're going to want to focus on the bottom hand of this window under dedicated GPU memory. As you can see, there is a number next to this GB. This is how much RAM that your GPU has. The number that we are looking for right next to this GB is 8 or higher. Mine has double that 16 and thank you so much to NVIDIA for actually sending this GPU out to me. I wouldn't be able to make videos such as this without their support, but we can see I have above 8, I have 16, so I'm good to be able to run Stable Diffusion XL. If you have less than 8, let's say 6 or 4, in the future you may be able to run Stable Diffusion XL as the open source community fine tunes these models further for running on hardware with less VRAM. Anyways, now that we have verified we can run Stable Diffusion XL, we can move on to the next step. Now viewers, you're going to want to click the link down in the description labeled Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. This is essentially where we're downloading Stable Diffusion. As you can see, this is the base model of SDXL 1.0. This is a really great website known as Civit AI. They have a bunch of other models that aren't SDXL or are versions of SDXL that are tailored to complete specific tasks. But today we're just focusing on downloading the base SDXL. The reason we're starting off with this download is because it is the largest at 6.46 gigabytes. Hopefully you viewers at home have a pretty fast internet connection to download a file of this size in a reasonable amount of time, but we're just going to click this blue download button and our download will start. On the latest update of Chrome, your downloads will appear in the top right hand corner of your screen. As you can see, my internet's pretty quick. This is going to download in about a minute for me. As that is downloading, you can move on to the second link in the description that is labeled Comfy UI. When you click this link, you will be brought to this page. And we're going to look under Windows here for the direct link to download. Once you click that, it will start to download Comfy UI. This is a smaller file, but still fairly large at 1.4 gigabyte. Now, viewers, once we have both of these files downloaded, we can go ahead and click up to our downloads and hover over where Comfy UI is and click on this little file button. Now, this is going to take us to our downloads folder. 
and we can see both Comfy UI and SDXL in our downloads folder. You might notice that Comfy UI is a zip file, meaning it needs to be extracted before we can use it. Don't worry, this is very common, and there are plenty of free programs that allow you to extract these zip files, my favorite being 7-Zip. If you click the link down in the description below labeled 7-Zip, it will take you to this website right here, where we can download 7-Zip. It's completely free, this is not bloatware or anything horrible, all you have to do is click this top download button labeled under Windows 64-bit. When we click this, another download is going to happen in the top corner of the screen, this is very quick. We don't have to open this in the folder, we can simply just click 7-Zip. It's going to prompt you asking if you want this publisher to make changes to your device, you're going to click yes. It's going to prompt with a destination folder to install 7-Zip, we're just going to click the install button, and there 7-Zip will install very quickly and we can click close. So now that we have installed 7-Zip, we can extract Comfy UI. What we're going to do is click on Comfy UI, Windows Portable, the one that we downloaded, right click it, go down to open with, and we should see 7-Zip File Manager up here. If you don't see 7-Zip File Manager, click More Apps, and hopefully it's in this list of apps. If you don't see it, 7-Zip may not be installed. Go ahead and click on 7-Zip File Manager, click OK, and a window will pop up with a little folder in it. This is the comfy UI folder we want to extract. We're going to go ahead and click the Extract button, and it's going to ask you where you want to extract it to. I recommend just extracting it right to your desktop so it's easy to start every time. But of course, you could just extract it to your downloads. So I'll go ahead here and click on my desktop and set it to desktop. Then I'm going to click OK. This might take some time because it's extracting a lot of files, but you can now see the Comfy UI folder pop up on my desktop. So once the file has extracted, we can go ahead and close the 7-zip window. And keeping our downloads folder open, we can go ahead and double click on Comfy UI wherever you ended up extracting it. As you can see, this is a folder with a few different things inside of it. I recommend double clicking and opening this README because it has some pretty important information. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to run NVIDIA GPU.bat, but there's also the option to run it in CPU mode, which I have not tested and cannot attest to. Now, most of you, but not all of you, probably have NVIDIA GPUs. One very simple way to check is simply by right-clicking on your desktop and looking for the NVIDIA control panel. Now, if it says anything AMD related, you probably have an AMD GPU and are better off trying trying to run it in the very slow CPU mode, but other than that, an NVIDIA GPU is pretty much required for regular generation. This is what we are going to want to run when we eventually do run Comfy UI, but for now we actually have to install SDXL. So we're going to go ahead and double click into the Comfy UI folder, scroll down until we see models and double click into models, and finally we will see this checkpoints folder up at the top, we're going to double click into that. And as you can see, it says put checkpoints here. This is where we're going to put our SDXL. We're going to go ahead and just drag it from our downloads right into the checkpoints and it's going to move it. Now we are almost ready to start generating. I'm going to go ahead and go back into the base comfy UI folder and go ahead and double click run NVIDIA GPU.bat to start comfy UI. This is going to open a window up in your default browser. This is where you use comfy UI. It's actually a user interface for generating all of this stable diffusion stuff on your own machine. It might look very complicated, but actually it's pretty simple. As you can see, it's already loaded up the correct checkpoint in this load checkpoint. This is the SDXL that we downloaded earlier and put in that folder. And if you wanted to download other models, such as a fully uncensored one, you could put it in that same exact folder and click these arrows to navigate through them. Next up, we can move over where it says clip text encode. This top one is going to be your main positive prompt, and this is your negative prompt down below. And right under it, under empty latent image, this is going to be your width and height. You can actually go ahead and change these values simply by clicking on them, deleting them, and typing in a new value. I recommend doing 1024 by 1024 for native generation inside of Stable Diffusion XL. The batch size down here is how many images you want to generate with this prompt. For now, I'm just going to leave that at 1. If we move over here, we can see some more advanced settings, such as the seed, which will randomize every single time you generate. I recommend just leaving all these at default if you're new to this. And finally, we can see a file name prefix. I wouldn't really worry about that. So we are now ready to begin generating. 
All we have to do is go up to the top right hand corner and press the Q prompt button. And as you can see, these different boxes are going to light up at their respective areas and generate. A little loading bar is gonna come here. This is generating our image and eventually it will output right over here and we can actually see the image we generated. Looks pretty awesome. So you might be wondering, well, how do I actually get to this file on my computer? It's actually very easy. Remember where you actually ran Comfy UI? You're gonna go ahead and double click into Comfy UI and then go down to the output folder. Double click in here and you'll see all of the images that you generated. Pretty awesome stuff. Now, depending on your GPU, this might take different amounts of time. In general, SDXL is not the fastest model to generate with in the world, but it's definitely no slouch. So viewers, I hope you were able to install Comfy UI and generate as much as you want on your own machine for entirely free. Again, don't hesitate to ask any questions down in the comments below or on my Discord server. My community is very helpful. Please let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a more advanced tutorial that features things such as LoRa's, which can greatly change your stable diffusion outputs. That's how I made that cool pixel art video a couple days ago. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.